Shocking revelation, expert claims Kate turned away to avoid witnessing Camilla's scolding. It was a grand spectacle at the Trooping the Color ceremony, but behind the royal facade, chaos ensued as King Charles battled to tame his spirited steed, Nobel. The troops saluted, but all eyes turned to a heated exchange caught on camera. Body language expert Judy James quickly focused on Queen Camilla, who appeared to scold King Charles during his birthday parade, according to our exclusive body language analysis. Welcome to the British Royalty in Focus channel, where you can find out about everything happening in the world of the royal family. Before you start, subscribe to our channel. For we will bring updated news about the royal family. We greatly appreciate your support. Amidst pomp and splendor, the monumental Trooping the Color Parade showcased the elite regiments of the British Army paying tribute to the monarch on his special day. Riding atop his noble steed named Nobel, Charles became the first monarch in over 37 years to take part in the procession. After a ride from Buckingham Palace to the Horse Guards, he aligned himself beside Prince William, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward, who were also on horseback. But at a crucial moment, Charles seemed to struggle with his spirited mount. Judy James, our expert in body language, speculated that Camilla intended to offer assistance. She revealed, Charles may have been slightly hindered by his playful horse, which meant he rarely achieved the same formal riding posture as his sons and brothers, who gracefully followed behind him. While William and Edward maintained calm composure, with their arms rigidly at their sides, Charles had to hold the reins with both hands, giving occasional pats that increased in intensity as his horse required direction and correction. Throughout the parade, the king appeared to engage in a conversation with Camilla as they reached the tribuna, where she was seated. Rather than offering a proud and supportive smile, Camilla's body language suggested a severe reprimand, with furrowed brows and firm nods. Kate, sensing the tension, discreetly averted her gaze, clearly not wanting to get involved. Meanwhile, Judy also noted a change in Prince Louis. Despite his excitement, he remained enthralled thanks to his mother, Kate. Judy explained, now dressed just like George, it's obvious that his behavior is becoming more composed and less playful. However, there are several signs that, with Kate's encouragement, he still enjoys royal events and gets excited about everything happening around him. Prince Louis was the first among the three siblings to exit the carriage at the parade venue. As he sat in the carriage, he received a smile from Kate. When he imitated playing the drums on the balcony, he turned to his parents for a conversation but was visibly too eager for the red arrows, clenching his fists and punching the air. In this lean monarchy, there was a sense of familiarity within the balcony group. Camilla conversed with Charles upon their exit, and Princess Charlotte had to squeeze herself behind her grandfather, followed by a tightly pressed Kate. Sophie and Edward engaged Charles and Camilla in conversation, with Sophie playfully making her husband laugh as she mimicked two of the flying planes. Charles remained engaged in conversation with William, displaying signs of a newfound, easier connection. Stay tuned for the latest updates on this ongoing story, right here on our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sensational news and exclusive gossip. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the subject and are informative and thought-provoking. See you next time.